Hello, Crafty Cuties. Today I am going to do another December daily layout, but today is going to be not really a layout. So if you can see here, I have the folder page here, and I am going to make use of that. I have four different photos. Uh, they show kind of like my workstation for the junk trunk kits, and it's a mess. There's a lot going on because it's getting closer, guys. So I'm actually just going to go ahead and cut these photos out. And I thought, you know, I could just place photos in the folder, but I definitely want to do a little something more than that. So I think what we will do is probably just mat each one with some cute paper, get use of our paper, and we'll call it a day. So let's go ahead and, and guys, while I'm cutting these out, don't forget to enter today's giveaway. I have six days of giveaways. I don't know what today, I'm not sure what number today will be by the time this video is up. Maybe four, five, six, something like that. And so all the details will be listed below. For some reason, um, when I edited these photos, uh, they turned out really pink. It, it, this is coffee dyed paper and it's just like a huge stack, but I don't know why it turned out pink, but I also don't really care. Okay, so, oh, and I did journaling already, and I actually went ahead and did it inside this cute little card, just because I thought it would be a cute way to add um, some journaling. So I'm just going to go ahead and glue these on, and I'm going to basically leave a little border around each picture. And I'm not sure, I may write some notes on the backs or I haven't decided that yet, but that might be a good idea because I kind of feel like down the line, like years later, you know, I might not know exactly what's happening in these photos. I did explain it actually a little bit in my journaling, so I don't know. We'll see. I love this paper so much. This is one reason why I do like to add folders in journals because it's just a really nice easy way to use or to just tuck things away you know I could just add photos if I wanted really but but you know it's kind of fun to be able to use up your supplies that you've been hoarding all year long right Okay, last one, and this is actually a photo of the first junk trunk journal that I made. Um, I made the tutorial for, or yeah, I made a tutorial and ended up making that journal. Okay, so now we have our four photos. We have our journaling. That's really all we need to do. I do want to include the date here, the 20. How in the world is it already 20? I don't know. I do not know how. And by the time you guys are watching this, it's probably, yeah, it's probably past the 20th. Because I'm pre-filming, so I don't have to film right on the holiday. Okay, so let's open up. So, let's see here. Now... I want to think about it. These photos, hmm, I don't want them to like fall all the way down, so let's see. We'll see. They might actually stay up. So I think that's actually going to work just fine since I have more than one. So that will be okay. And then I could put my 20 like down here. I'm going to trim it a little bit. That. Um, I could I was thinking about using maybe some trim or something right alongside the pocket but I might just keep it simple I feel like I've done enough in this book that I can allow myself a couple simple layouts <laughs> so I think we'll just put the 20 there 
Yeah. And I might even do, I'll probably do a similar thing over here on the 21st since um, we have another folder pocket. But yeah, that is very, very simple. Good use of a pocket. And I hope that you guys liked watching this very simple uh, December daily layout. I hope you guys are doing good on your layouts. Be sure to check the description down below for anything that I need to tell you guys. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.